you know, there's times when I'm not watching the fight like you are. You know, when you have, you know, two guys in there and they're fighting, you're looking at it and you're enjoying the contest as, you know, oh, look at that shot and stuff. And I'm looking at damage. I'm looking at seeing, you know, what's going on. And for, you know, for an instance, to try to make it, you know, understandable, Robbie Lawler fights Rory McDonald. Okay, now everyone loved that fight, and they should have. But everyone was concerned about me stopping the fight, either in the third round or in the fourth round, stopping the fight with Robbie being hurt and making Rory the winner. And everyone said, how close were you to stopping that fight? And it's like, you, you, no one understands. I was never really that concerned about Robbie Lawler in that fight. I was very concerned with Rory McDonald from the, the, about the fourth, round, fourth minute of the first round on. And that's my job as a referee. I'm looking at things completely differently than what the fan is looking at. What I'm seeing when I'm watching Robbie and Rory, Rory in the first round is landing more punches, but they're not real hard. Robbie's not throwing a lot, but when he's landing shots, they are thudding shots. They are heavy. And then he ends up breaking his nose in the first round. And you watch Rory. Rory starts... He starts doing what we call aspirating blood. Now, his nose is broken, and it's bleeding a little bit, but it's, it's bleeding down the back of his throat, which is not that big a deal. He can swallow all the blood in the world, and he's just going to throw it up. So it's not a big deal for me as the referee or for the ringside physician. It's not going to end up impacting him in life. But as he's, he has that broken nose, he can't breathe through his nose now. He's starting to breathe through his mouth. And as he's breathing, breathing, I can't even talk, breathing through his mouth, as he sucks in more air because he's getting more tired, as the second round and the third round, now he comes into the second round, he gets, gets a cut in his mouth. And he's got a cut that's now bleeding in his mouth. And he's in the third round, and he's really sucking a lot of air. And when he goes after Robbie, when he hurts Robbie, that's great, but now he's sucking a lot, and these little droplets of blood are now being aspirated, not going down into his stomach. They're actually going down into his lungs, and they're sticking inside of his lungs and stopping what his lungs can do as far as dissipating that oxygen to his muscles. And this is the thing that I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm looking at. So I'm watching it, and I'm looking at Rory. 90% of that fight, my attention's on Rory because I want to make sure that if he ends up falling off the cliff like he did in the fifth round when he got hit with a shot, it's not that that shot was the, you know, so you know, explosive and traumatizing that that's put him out of the fight. It was all of those things combined that brought this weight on him that he couldn't continue on in the fight at that point, and that's my job to get him out.